Hello and welcome to this lesson on bearings, mainly for IGCSE, GCSE maths. Uh, the key words we should be coming across will be uh, north, uh, clockwise, three-figure bearing, distance, speed, and time. Okay, now this is a typical exam question, and as you can see, there's quite a lot to uh, take in at the same time. So we should look at each um, question in turn. But can you also note from the outset that angle um, the bearing of B from A <coughs> is 080 degrees and it's not 90 degrees. So in effect B is not directly east of A. If B were directly east of A then the angle should be 90 degrees. Okay, um, from the outset, the ship is at 11.55 uh, hours and it travels from A to B, which is 40 kilometers, and from B to C, which is 60 kilometers. And together, they should form 100 kilometers. And if you remember from your earlier lessons on distance, speed, and time, to get time, you divide distance by the speed. And this time round, the distance is 100, 40 plus 60, that is divide by the speed, 35 kilometers an hour, and you end up with 2.86 hours. Now, uh, the, the question asks for the um, answer to be in to the nearest minute. So you multiply 0.86 by 60 because you got 60, hours, 60 minutes in an hour, and you have it two minutes to the nearest minute, that is. So if you take the, uh, the, vest, the vessel about from A to, A to B and B to C, about 2 hours and 52 minutes. Now, if the vessel left at 11.55 and it takes in 2 hours and 52 minutes, so it will arrive at point C at about 14.47 uh, hours because if you add 11.55 to 2 hours and 52 minutes, you end up with 14.47 hours. Okay, we are asked to find the bearing of A from B, the bearing of A from B, and a few things to note there is that because AD is pointing north and BE, BE is also pointing north, therefore AD and BE are parallel. Okay, and as I said earlier from the outset is that the, the angle, the bearing of B from A is 80 degrees or 080 degrees it is not 090 degrees therefore B is not directly east of A were that to be the case then the bearing of B from A will be 090 degrees but it is not it's 080 degrees okay and because AD and BE are parallel and the interior angle should add up to 180 degrees therefore the obtuse angle EBA is 100 degrees okay and to find uh, to find the reflex angle EBA uh, we need to subtract uh, 100 from 360 because the angles at the point added to 360 degrees okay so EBA is 260 degrees. Okay, and now we're supposed to find the bearing of C from B. So we're going to measure clockwise again. So you want the angle EBC. Okay, you want the angle EBC. And uh, two ways, you can do 360 minus 100, which is the angle, the optus angle EBA, minus 100. 115 degrees which has been given to us already so we end up with 145 or we could have done uh, 260 because we know that the bearing of A from B is 260 we could have done 260 minus 115 and that should give us 145 degrees okay next up uh, we want to find distance from A to C now A to C is opposite uh, 115 degrees and we know that uh, the angle at B is 
an, an included angle between the line AB and BC. Okay? We don't know any other angles, so we have to use the, the cosine rule. And that tells us that AC squared is equal to 40 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 40 times 60. The cosine of the included angle, 115 degrees. And so that gives us uh, 72.856. Now, don't forget that the 7208.56 uh, kilometers is AC squared. We need to find AC. Hence, we need to do the square root of 7228.56. And AC is now 85.02 kilometers. And to the nearest kilometer is 85 kilometers. Okay. Uh, this time around, we're supposed to calculate angle BAC. Okay, uh, this time, because we we now know the size of of um, A to C, so we've got three sides and one angle. So we want to find angle BAC. So in effect, we can use the um, side rule in this case. So if we look at sine BAC which we're looking for divided by 60 because 60 is opposite the angle B and C and that's equal to sine 115 which you already know divided by 85 which we just found we just found the side AC as 85 kilometers and that's opposite the angle B so it's 115 degrees so sine, sine B AC will be 60 times sine, 50, sine 115 divided by 85 and angle BAC is 39.8 degrees. Okay, we need to calculate uh, how far, we want to find how far C is east of A. So we need to construct a line from C northwards and from A eastwards. Now at the outset I said to you that the bearing of B from A is 080 degrees and it's not 0, 090, zero. so B is not directly east of A. So we need to construct a line such that we can get um, a position north of C such that it is directly east of A. Uh, we know that if F is directly east of A, then angle NAF is 90 degrees. Okay, which means that angle BAF is 10 degrees. But we know from, a, from an earlier calculation that, that the angle BAC is 39.8 degrees. Therefore, the angle FAC is now 29.8 degrees. Okay, and we need to calculate the, uh, the length of A to F. And we know uh, AC, we know the angle 29.8 and triangle AFC is a right angle triangle. Therefore, to find AF, we do AF, which is adjacent to 29.8 degrees, divided by 85, should give us a cosine of 29.8. Okay? And therefore, AF is now 85 times co the cosine of 29.8 .8 degrees have got 73.8 kilometers to 1 dB. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thank you and bye-bye.